Steve, thanks for taking time out of your absolutely suit fitting, the club's official tailor, to uh, speak to us. I guess you've been in preparations for Liverpool this week. How much have you taken from the second half at Manchester United last week? Uh, yeah, obviously we can take a lot of confidence from the second half. Um, I mean, even even spells from the first half, I thought we started well. Obviously, there was just a spell of obviously 15, 20 minutes where the game was uh, decided in that, in that spell. So um, we can take a lot of confidence um, of how we come out second half and how we performed and go into a, a tough uh, a tough game on Saturday. Reflecting back on, on the season so far, you've formed a new partnership in midfield with Scott Parker. Yep. How do you feel that's going for you and how are you settling down as, as a pair? Yeah, no, Scotty's come in, sort of hit the ground running, isn't he? Played very well. Um, you, know, you know what you're going to get from, from Scotty always. Uh, obviously, commitment-wise, 110%, someone that's going to drive the team forward. Um, and hopefully, me and him there can, can build up a relationship and, uh, and be a force, for the, uh, for the, obviously, for the rest of the season. And his natural positioning of being more of a deep lying player yeah. is that giving you the freedom to get forward, like we saw in the in the Crystal Palace game where yeah. he scored a, a, a wonderful goal. Yeah, no, I think there's, there'll be times where I can get forward, but obviously at the moment, you know, we're not we're not sort of firing on all the cylinders as a team at the moment, so we're pretty much on the back foot in much, in, in most games. So um, once we start, uh, you know, believing in ourselves a bit more and playing that in the way that we know we can play. That will uh, allow each individual to express themselves more. But at the minute, I think certain individuals are, are being held back in, in terms of position and, and, uh, and, and their whereabouts on pitches because it's not going for us in the free, free flow of football that we want at the moment. I suppose that comes naturally when we're playing games like the fixture list has thrown up lately with United and Liverpool away this week is naturally going to be a more defensive approach to those matches and um, we all know how tough they're going to be. Well, I mean, every point is vital and uh, as, as, as every year goes by, the Premier League gets harder. So, you know, picking up a draw now is not the end of the world, um, especially uh, away at teams like Liverpool, Anfield. So, obviously, we're going to go there for a win, first and foremost, and then... Um, and then the most important thing is that we don't lose, so that's, that's going to be our aim. If we come away with a draw, uh, then fantastic, but whatever happens, we need to build on, uh, on, the, on the confidence from the, the performance on, on Saturday and then go into a tough Liverpool game and then on to two more hard games with uh, Swansea and West Ham. And just finally, uh, another touch on your goal against Crystal Palace. It yep. perhaps didn't uh, receive the same amount of acclaim as it as it might have uh, given the other spectacular striker in the match. Yep. Was it one of the best ones you've hit, or was it certainly a very well struck volley? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've, to be fair, I've hit, I've hit a few, I've hit a few like that throughout my career. Um, one similar to that was against Pepe Reina, against Liverpool actually, again in, in the home game that we lost. I think it was six two that we might have lost that game. Um, so I've hit a couple, but I mean, obviously anything coming after Kasami's goal would be uh, would be nothing like that. So it was a, a great strike from him, and, and, and that should really be winning the goal of the season for me. Well, fingers crossed you can give Liverpool the same treatment this weekend. Then. Let's hope so. Cheers, Steve. Cheers.